Playing holding mid, or you might be calling it a central defensive midfielder, requires a lot of positional knowledge. You must dominate the field with your game knowledge, your positional knowledge, as well as your communication skills with your teammates. And you need to be very successful at knowing where you need to be on the field as a defensive midfielder or holding mid. Because being a holding mid requires a lot of responsibilities on the field. So you can be very successful defensively and bringing your team to start an attack during the games. Positionally, I don't think being a holding mid is very complicated because you need to be central, you need to be a little behind your center midfielders or and your attacking midfielders as well. Your job to be a successful holding mid is actually to know when to drop, to know when to stay, to know when you actually need to move up when your team is attacking. Because in many cases, when you are a holding mid, you will need to actually stay when your team is attacking. Especially if the game is tied or if the game has just started, you want to control, you want to observe the game and you're allowing your coach to think what you need to be doing as a defensive midfielder. In most cases, your coach will want you to drop back right in between your center backs to make it three player back line. This is when it's very important that you are actually always thinking about doing this because sometimes your coach might not want this from you but even in that case you still have to keep it in mind that maybe your center back is pushing up and you'll still need to drop back. This all comes to your common sense as being a successful holding midfielder. Obviously you need to be staying central unless your fullback went up and your center back can't cover for your fullback, then it will be your job to actually slightly shift over to potentially stop the opposition's counter-attack. But this is when you need to be really good at communicating with your central midfielders to actually drop back and cover up your space. Because it's like a domino effect. Everybody will have to cover up for each other during the games. You being central, meaning that you're winning the second balls. Say the ball is coming long in the air and your center back jumped for a header, hit the ball, and then the ball will most likely will drop in front of you. And this is your time to shine. You will need to win that second ball. And when you're winning that second ball is the key because if you let the opposition take that second ball, then they'll quickly be able to continue with their attack. Because when the opposition plays a long ball, this means that they are coming up high and them coming up high means they're crowding the central area to win the ball. If you want to be a successful holding mid, you will need to win those balls so you're not allowing the opposition to actually continue with their attack. Sometimes your center backs will be going and supporting for the attacks and this is when, as I said, you'll be dropping back and you'll be covering up for their job. Most likely holding mid, except Sergio Busquets, are shorter but physically strong and quicker on their feet and quicker with their decision making as well. So in many cases, you will be the one holding back when your team is going for a corner kicks or free kicks where you want to send your tall and strong players up top to actually win the headers or score with the headers. So you're holding back until those players are coming back to take back their position. The responsibility wise and sticking to your position, your job is the most important one because you really, really, really need to stick to your position and stay there until you're told otherwise. If you are attacking as a holding mid, then it's your job to ensure that somebody drops back to cover up for your position and stay there until you get back. Because in many cases, the center midfielder will be the one that going and joining and supporting for the attacks but it's gonna be you sometimes as well as you're going up you'll have to either communicate with someone or even you can talk about this before the game as well that if i'm going up you stay back for me until i come back and take my position and your vision as a successful holding midfielder is to actually progress the game forward for the most part because in some cases where if your team is winning, one nothing, two nothing, whatever, 
and you want to cool the game down. This is when you actually hold the ball, turn back, play in safe, back to your center backs or back to your goalkeepers and you're actually wasting some time cooling the game down, cooling the opposition from their aggressive attacks. But if the game is 0-0 or if you're losing, for the most part, you'll have to progress the game forward. You can't always take the back as a holding midfielder and play it backwards because that's the easy way. That's the easy option. Your long balls has to be on point. Your short passes has to be on point and certain. And when you receive the ball, instead of looking backwards, for the most part, you want to look up to start your team's attack. And this really changes if your team is losing or if your team is winning and what your coach wants from you, obviously. I hope this video was helpful. If you disagree with something, you can always write down in the comments and let me know. If you want to add something, you can also write down in the comments. If you want additional information, you can also write down in the comments where we can discuss. You can become a member of my channel. I have a specific Discord group designed for my members and we can chat and I can help you out further and you can find my playlist here. I would really appreciate if you drop a like for this video. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next Sunday.